in the woods where I hang around. Got an old dog, he is just a hound. Got a good wife, she's the best I've found. I don't know what she sees in me. I don't know, but it could be so. Just a speck on God's big toe, but we're doing all right to the living soul. All right, guys, we are off to play the $1,700 WSLP Circuit main event at Planet Hollywood right now. Time to go get those chippies. Thanks for all the investors out there. It's time to go hunt for a ring, guys. We just did our study stream with the PokerGoaching.com, folks. We're warmed up and ready to go. Stay tuned for updates. Got no clothes from the soles of her feet to the tip of her nose. That makes me a dirty old man, I suppose. But there's worse things I could be. I don't know, but it could be so. Just a speck on God's big toe, but we're doing all right to be a living solo. It's a mystery. All right, guys, we're here playing the main event. We're ready to go. Got our ticket. Bang! Ready to go. Main event. We're looking for a ring. And it's time to go chase that juju. We're all patched up today. We're in our DJ and gear, our PC.com. We're ready to go. Let's head inside and see what it looks like. See where our seat is. Hey guys, we're back here. Gonna do a couple of hand breakdowns. Sadly, the WCB Circuit event didn't quite go as planned. Uh, there were a couple of interesting hands here that I thought I would share with you. Let's check out this Ace Jack here. Uh, we opened Ace Jack suited under the gun, pretty standard. Uh, it was big blind Annie 100-100 uh, with a 10 uh, Annie. And so I did pop this to 300 being super deep. And uh, younger decent rag, uh, you could tell he had played some poker. Um, does come along, and then the big line defends. Uh, this guy was your average bad rag. He uh, limp called the giant ISO. It was uh, limp. He limped. Giant ISO call, and he called with a hand like a six offsuit, um, and so things like that. So pretty standard bad rag. Uh, he calls as well. Thought comes down five seven three uh, two diamonds, and I thought this hit the big blind really really hard. Um, so uh, they checked, and I elected to check too, especially with the guy behind me. Uh, Young Decent Reg checks as well. Uh, the turn is a so-so card, right? It brings in a heart, um, but it also brings in a four-liner straight. Um, again, I thought that the big line had all the straights, the two pairs and whatnot, and so I elected to check after he checks as well. Um, and the Young Decent Reg comes along for a check. River's a good card. It's a heart. And then all of a sudden, the uh, bed red guy leads off for 400. I thought, um, definitely raising here for value, right? We have the nuts. Um, and I thought that I was going to go on the bigger side here uh, because uh, I thought smaller flushes and the straights. And then two pairs and sets, pretty little hard kind. He seemed like the kind of guy who would call that. So I decided to pop it. Uh, popped it to 2,000 over his little baby bet. And then he tanked forever, ever, never, 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 and did find the fold. 
All right, here's another hand that we played here. Uh, King Queen offsuit. It was a little bit early. Um, I really liked this table. It was a bunch of uh, players who I thought were making a ton of mistakes, playing too loose, uh, splashing around and stuff. So I decided to open the King Queen here. Um, big one, 200 uh, with an ante again. So I did pop it to five, uh, being pretty darn deep. Fold, fold, and then everybody comes along at that point, all these loose aggro. Players, these couple guys in the button and the blinds, I didn't know much about them. It was a, it was a new table, um, so I didn't know much about them. Uh, Flop came down relatively dreamy. Uh, blinds do check. I decided to go a little bit on the bigger side than I normally would. It went like forty-ish percent pot here, and I popped up to fourteen hundred. I thought worse queens, spade draws, things like jack ten and eight, and then under pairs would all come along for that bet, especially with how much these guys were splashing around. Um, so I did bet the 14, pretty folds, except for the big blind who does come along. Turn was a 10 of spades. They check. I thought they had a lot of spades. Um, and then things like eights and under pairs, right, which I didn't really want to fold. So I decided to check here. Uh, River was an offsuit. Deuce. Guy leads into us for 1,700. And we make the obvious call. And the dude had 7-2 of spades. Uh, so we got a little dinged on that one. All right, guys, on the infamous bust-out hand. This one was a little weird, admittedly. Um, we're in the big blind with queens, and it gets a couple of folds. This guy had been super splashy, uh, called a 4x raise, like 10-7 off suit, and uh, was super loose. He decides to pop it to 500. Uh, bad red comes along. Super loose aggro guy. This is another guy who raised the cutoff with 2-4 off suit. And then ended up bluffing a river that came down four line into Broadway, 10 Jack, Queen, King. Um, and so he'd been splashing around quite a bit. Um, he calls. Uh, tight player over here calls, and then everybody else folds. I'm in the big line with Queens. Pot now is 2480 out of position. Um, I decided to pop it pretty, a little more than pot. I went to 3K um, with Queens, feeling pretty good about my hand. Um, so I did that. First razor folds, first caller folds, and the super loose aggro guy pops it to 13,000. And it uh, folds over to me. Uh, I tanked forever. And uh, I was trying to think, like, what hands do this? Calls a raise and a caller and does this. So I thought he had a lot of, like, nine cents jacks, maybe sevens and eights. Hands like ace jack suited, ace queen suited, maybe a passive ace king. Um, but this guy was aggro, so I didn't put a lot of ace king in his hand. Um, yeah, so I thought I had no choice but to jam here. I couldn't call and leave 7k behind, and I couldn't fold queens. I just couldn't fold queens. Um, so I did put it all in, and uh, big surprise, the guy had called a raise and a caller with pocket kings. Um, and it ran out, queen, uh, ran out clean, um, and that's how he busted. Man, I just don't know how we don't go broke there. It gets super loose and aggro guy. I've been showing all these weird hands and then flats a raise and a call. Um, God, so weird. So weird. So that's how he busted the circuit main, and uh, that's it. Sadly, it wasn't too uh, exciting. And uh, so, yeah, that was uh, that's how it went down. Uh, we'll be back on the live streets soon. Don't you worry. Back on the online streets, of course. Uh, where we always are. Um, hope you like this video, a little highlight reel. If you did, like, comment, subscribe below. I appreciate you. And if you'd like to follow us on social media or watch us play live on Twitch or watch the study session stream Saturdays at noon with the PokerCoaching.com content, all that available for you on the links over here. So make sure you check those out. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe down below. Our comments uh, are all welcome, and uh, I get back to every one of them. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.